How are you doing, Brian King, UK Flooring TV? Uh, today we're over at Fitter, the Flooring Industry Training Association, uh, over in Loughborough. Uh, we're joined by Harry Watkins from Floormart. Uh, all right, Harry, how are you doing? Yeah, thanks for having me, Brian. No problem at all. Uh, Harry, can you start off by telling us who you are and what your role is at Floormart? So, I'm the general manager at Floormart. I run the sort of day to day operations. Uh, and handle a lot of the business development in the company. Uh, so really trying to help us grow uh, and become the best we can be as a company. What is uh, Floormart uh, and what is Floormart's role in the flooring industry? So we are a flooring retailer. Uh, we sell all sorts of supplies uh, and materials. Uh, mainly we want to talk about tools today. Um, but we're based in Leicester um, and we retail across the whole country in the UK. How many work there, Harry? Is it a big company or is it just like a small? Uh, we're quite small. We've grown um, quite a bit over the past three years. Um, there's about nine of us now. So it's not too small now? No, no, we're growing, we're growing at a pretty good pace. We've uh, got a new, got lot of new employees at the moment. Uh, so we're really sort of growing and putting in the effort to keep it going. It's, uh, it's a family business, isn't it? It is, yes. So it's my, uh, my dad who runs things, Robert. Um, and I handle the sort of day-to-day -day running um, in the company, yeah. What products do Floormart sell? Uh, so we sell, I mean mainly we want to talk about tools, uh, so we sell pretty much all tools that are available in the flooring trade, uh, whether it be Wolf, Roberts, um, Sweeney Todd, Yansa, uh, we do it all and obviously uh, Pronies as well. So you cover all the major manufacturers? Exactly, yeah. You're the only UK distributors for the Pronies knee pads. Uh, what's your relationship with Pronies? So in 2019, late 2019, uh, we took our first consignment in from Prone. This is just pre-pandemic. Um, a bit of a slow start, obviously, with COVID-19. Um, but we've been dealing with them for about two, three years now um, and haven't looked back. It's been great. Uh, we're really seeing a lot of people make the switch now uh, and seeing Prony grow as a whole in the UK. When Pronies first, well, when, when I was first aware of Pronies, uh, I, I looked into buying a pair, uh, mm. but it, it, I couldn't really get hold of any. There was herb coming into the country. Mm. So I asked other uh, uh, companies what sold tools, and, and they said that we can't get them in the country. Mm. How, how, have you, how have you bypassed all that? And, started distributing in this country? Yeah, so we, uh, we spoke to Prony originally in 2019 um, and I think a lot of people have struggled because of the custom fit uh, aspect of it. So there's a variety of a lot of different sizes for those custom fit ones. So to do that, we've had to take uh, quite a large amount of stock in, sort of accommodate so we can get every single size that people need. So you've bought by? Exactly, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, is there different types of Pronies? Yes, yeah, so there's firstly the 714, which is the main one. Uh, the, which is the, the custom, long ones. Exactly, yeah. yeah. They're the custom fit, which is the sort of main uh, Prony product. And then there's also the AP16s, which is the smaller version. Uh, holds a lot of the same benefits, however, doesn't go across the whole leg and is all size fits one. Um, there's also the older models, uh, the 07 model, for example, which they don't make anymore. However, we still do the parts for them uh, to accommodate for the older customers. We've got a couple of pairs here. Uh, exactly. Which, yes. Explain which are the different types. So this is the 714 knee pad, um, custom fit. This main benefit is that it runs down the length of your shin. So what it's doing is taking the pressure off your knees, putting it against the whole leg, um, which is why they are so popular. Um, they're really taking the edge off your knees and um, reducing the um, the stress on them. Um, so it's really, we've seen a lot of people, customers who have had knee problems already and it's helped them with that, but it's also helped prevent as well, so it's doing um, both for that. What's the difference with the smaller ones? Um, yeah, so we've got a pair of AP16s here as well. Um, so these are, they hold a lot of the same benefits, um, however they don't have the custom fit aspect to it. Uh, they're a cheaper option. Um, and there's still a great pair of knee pads, uh, but the only difference is that they don't have the custom fit aspect to it. Since you've been selling Pronies, uh, what are your sales like with them? Have they been popular? Have they, have they been selling well? Yeah, so I mean, um, obviously we took them in firstly before the pandemic, so it was a bit of a slow start. Um, and I think the price tag often puts a lot of people off. Um, it's not until people try them on or see people with them that they really decide to make the switch. Um, I think people are very put off, but we see it as more of an, an investment, really. Um, it's better to spend sort of 
£300 on a pair of knee pads um, that are going to save your knees instead of spending time and money on knee surgery and having knackered knees ready, which obviously a lot of people do experience in the trade. I've had my knees for three years now uh, and I've, I've never had to replace any parts. Um, I've had a bit of or at any store where it seems like that's what I'm Yeah, so obviously these are, these are Brian's knee pads. Um, Three years well, of wear. Well. <laughs> yeah. So, but as you can see, I mean, they've got a bit of wear on them, but they're still perfectly fine. Um, so, no, it's not a coincidence. Um, we have heard of people who have had their pronies for over 20 years. Uh, that's the original 07 model, which is why we still stop the spare, spare parts. So, although they do come at a high cost, they, in the long run, will pay off because they do last. They, they're meant to last a lifetime, really. Are they easily accessible? Yeah, so we stock uh, most of the parts at the moment. Uh, we've got, for example, here parts kit. So we keep the liners, the cushions. We also keep all the straps and the buckles. Um, they're all available in the UK. The only thing we don't stock is the cushion liner. We haven't had much demand for them at the moment. Like you say, you don't have to swap the parts much at all. Um, so we haven't seen much for those at the moment. But when we do, we would like to increase stocks on those. So you've bought all just spare parts, but we didn't sell them. Yeah, exactly. We've um, we've sort of underestimated them almost, um, which is obviously a good thing. People haven't needed to change the parts um, in the time we've been selling them. When I got my cronies, it was like made to measure it to measure certain parts. Yeah. Like, uh, how does that work? So you take two measurements uh, before you buy a pair of seven one fours. Uh, you'll take your A to B, which is the top of your knee to the bottom of your foot and then you take your C measurement, which is around the shin, and this means you're getting your custom fit, which is made to measure, and it fits your, fits like a shoe, really, uh, which is making sure you get the optimal um, fit out of your knee pads. Tell me, what makes Pironi's different to the knee pads out on the market? So, obviously, you've got the custom fit aspect of it, which no other knee pad does. Uh, it goes down your shin, so it's spreading the weight off your knees and putting it across your legs, so it's really taking the edge off your knees, uh, which we've seen help countless people. You've obviously got all the spare parts available, so if you buy a pair of pronies, you're never going to have to buy a pair of pronies again. Uh, you can swap all the parts, every single part you've got on it is replaceable. And like you say, you don't actually have to swap them very often, um, so they're really an investment for life, really. Well, every floor where you want to be watching this, they want to know what I want to do. Well, the 714s, which are the main ones, they're just over £300. Uh, and you've got the AP16s which come in around £125. Lastly Harry, any plans for the future? Are you venturing into anything else? Uh, no, we're really just focusing on increasing our sort of customer experience really. We want to get that as good as possible. We've uh, made a lot of efforts re recently into staff, technology and stock. Uh, as we know, people need stuff as soon as they, I mean, they need it when they need it. They need it fast, uh, they need helpful staff. Um, and to do that, we really need to. We've been up in our game to really help people, help us do that. Well, Harry, thanks very much for uh, speaking mm -hmm. to us. Thank thanks you. for the giveaway as well. No and uh, see you soon. Thanks. Brilliant. Thank you.